Deuteronomy 29, 24. Even all nations shall say, Wherefore have the Lord done thus unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then, then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord, power of their fathers. That's why we're over here in this land, man. Because we as a people, because the, the kingdom of Judah wound up over here too. Because all the tribes broke the laws and the covenant of the Most High. So our punishment was what? The great prison camp, which is America. You, didn't, you wasn't brought over here to become successful, man. You was brought over here to catch hell. That's right. Go ahead. Then men shall say, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord, power of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought... So these, so these nations know about that, man. Yep. They, they know that these scholars, these biblical historians and these, the elite, they know why you're in the Americas, man. They know why you went into captivity. Go ahead. Because they have forsaken the covenant of, Lord, of the Lord power of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land to bring it to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. Now, the word another land, click on that. Go into the Hebrew. It's two words. Another. Mm -hmm. What does another mean? Another is uh, aka, aka. Okay, the next the next Hebrew word is what? Land is a uh, ara aratiza. 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 Okay, now put the two words together. Uh is it akhar akhar aratiza, right? Akhar aratiza. That's the word asaris is really pronounced in the Hebrew akhar aratiza. Mm. Another land. Right. Now click on both words. Okay. Click on akhar I clicked on a car. It says another, other, f uh, another. See, another. that's a that's a nugget for you. Yeah, <laughs> now that's a nugget. That's a, now, now, now that's a nugget. That's a brick. That's a brick of gold for you, man. Okay. <laughs> See, Nate, if you knew the Hebrew, you would know that. That's right. I right, go ahead. An, uh, a car, another. All right. That's all that needs to be said. You can look it up yourself. But he don't. Right? Go, he don't believe in the Hebrew. Yeah, well, I wasn't talking to him, <laughs> you brothers. Uh, um, and land, uh, land, uh, aratiza. You look up land, um, yeah, land. Read all the definitions. Land, earth, whole earth, earth, country, territory, dis district. Oh, it's a country. Foot through that country. That con another country, yeah. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, tribal territory, piece of ground. Oh, tribal territory. Who who came over here? The tribes, right? Yeah, con con <laughs> and they had set up their own territory. That's right. That's right, brother. Why why did Esau come over here? The white man. Because it was part of prophecy. Yeah, to steal that See territory. this damn devil, he knows, man. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. He, he knows. didn't figure this shit out uh, a long time ago before we figured it out. And he's he's baffled at the fact that we figured it out. Guess what? We didn't figure it out. The most high opened up our minds right. to get it, man. Right. Why? Yeah. And now and now the most high put the spirit on us to give it to the people to let them know whether they want to accept it or not. Right. But it's going to happen anyway. Right. When you see this stuff happening, us teaching this word the way we're doing, even the mother guys, even Nate, you know, even Nate, even even uh Bubble Eyes, yeah. Degenerate Johanna. All those guys, 14th Street Homo, all those guys, those different camps out there, camps that have broken off and, uh, from GMS and set up other camps, and they still kind of go out there, they're still doing the will of the Most High, man, because they're yeah. all pushing the name of Israel. Yeah. They're just not pushing it 100%, 100 man. They're not complete. Or they're not complete. Yeah. yeah. That, that goes back to uh, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. Yeah, they, yeah. Was breath, he, they, yeah. they, they had the, 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 gaunt, the, the skin was put on them, and the bones came together, but they had no breath. They had no breath, yeah. They got it, but they don't got it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. But the most high made it where we got it. Yeah. 
Oh, and the we ba- don't have the whole thing. When I say we have 100% truth, meaning everything that we teach in the scriptures, going into the scriptures is the truth. There's other, there's other uh, 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 prophecies or, or, or secret uh, Revelation? revelations that the Most High didn't give us because he gave us all that we're supposed to have. Right. All right? Right. The seven thunders in Revelation proved that. Yep. Oh, to back up Elder Tom, Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. So they that's, know. That's what proves that they know. They know. I right, go ahead. Um, if re- I may say this real quick. Yep. Yep. And then, and then um, like Elder Tom said, that word Arsareth means another land because the, the only thing that they gave it, the name that they gave it was another land because it hadn't been inhabited yet. So nobody had stepped foot there to colonize it or to, or to uh, uh, actually inhabit it to put a name on it. So that's why it was just called another land. Wouldn't it be also known as Canaan, which means unknown, Canaan? Well, well no, Can- Canaan means low land. That's low what, land. That's what Ariel, you see, uh, Ariel went off, you know, uh, unknown. Because it was known, Canaan, yeah, low yeah, land. Yeah. In the back of the Red Bible, it tells you that. Go on. All right, go, on. Go, go to that. Because the word kind of means supposed to mean low land, low but look at but look it up. Go go to uh, go to uh, where it says Canaan. All right, go ahead. Canaan, low land, humiliated. Yo, know, valley. Another word for valley. And the reason why it was called Canaan because during the time of uh, Solomon power he had a great navy and it was the Phoenicians which are the Canaanites that were great they were the, they were the great seagoers they were the great navigators just as in um, Columbus time you know where Columbus learned how to navigate and deal with ships uh, Prince Henry the navigator man that's right which he's supposed to be Portuguese but he could have been a Jake that's right they said, if you wanted to learn anything about navigation, you had to go to that man, Prince Henry the Navigator. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll teach it to you. Um, yeah, I looked up Canaan, Canaan, lowland. Yep. Right, lowland, lowland, yep. That's right. That's, right. that's, that's what it means. Or another word for it is valley. Did not King David say, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Yep. The word there is Canaan. Yea, do I walk through Canaan land what Canaan land is he talking about he's talking about America that's right the, va- the valley of the shadow of death valley meaning low land of the shadow of death that means death is hovering over you right you know Con. that's America so so when it's being called Canaan that that is the right word for it valley low land you know that's right all right now let's go back to uh, where we left off in Deuteronomy Twenty-four. Yeah, Deuteronomy uh, twenty-nine and twenty-four. Even all nations shall say, "Where, where, wherefore have the Lord done thus unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger?" The men shall say, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord, power of their fathers, which He made with them when He brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. See, that's why the beard is a fearful thing. And that's why I've been getting on you guys to get, put your beard on, man, or grow your beard. Because that's part of the fear. That's, that's an that's a identifying mark of you are Israelite, man. Because at one time, back in the day, if you saw a black man with a beard, usually he was a derelict or a bum. So now they look at us, and they kind of look at us that way, but then they notice that there's a lot of Hebrew Israelite videos out there and guys all over the place on the corner with, with beards on their faces, man. Right. That's part, that's, part of your, that's part of your heritage, man. Right. Like, uh, you, you brothers better wear, grow your beards, man. Yeah, wear your beard, man. And no, and no five o'clock shadow and no lining your, your beards up. Yep. And no bald heads or Caesar haircuts, man. Yeah. This ain't a fashion, man. <laughs> Having a beard on your face and hair on your head ain't no fashion statement, man. In the Bible dictionary, it says a badge of manly dignity. That's right. When you look up the word beard. That's right. And it tells you when um, you, you, you cats out there, you dudes out there need to uh, 
uh, uh, go back and read Revelation, the second chapter, and Revelation, the third chapter, about you doing everything right, but you're off on this point, or right. you're off on that point. This right. church, you're off on that point. Like the church of Laodicea, they were off because they were bragging that they had more money than all the other churches, man. So they, they went off. Right. And it says to one church, come back to, the, to your first love, man. That's right. The Lord said, the Yahweh Shai said to one, another church, if you don't get yourself correct, I'm, I'm a...